Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from Synchronous Motors, and here I'll be solving end chapter question 6.1. Uh, this diagram is just to give you an idea. Uh, this is the stator, inside is a rotor, and this is the rotor shaft where we uh, enclose or attach load. And the uh, inside is the this is the rotor actually, and it, this the synchronous motor is different in a way that on the rotor we mount the field winding. So this is a field winding which is mounted on the rotor and on the stator uh, we supply three phase supply so because of this three phase there is a rotating magnetic field that is produced inside and the rotor catches that magnetic field uh, uh, as uh, it rotates now the question here is 480 volts, 60 hertz, four pole synchronous motor draws 50 ampere from the line at unity power factor and full load. Assume that the motor is lossless. Answer the following questions. So there are three questions. We'll uh, see each one by one. So the first question is what is the output torque of the motor express the answer both in newton meters and in pounds so first of all to find torque uh, we need to calculate power and the power in this case because it is said that assume that the motor is lossless that means the input power should be equal to output power and the formula of power we know for three phase systems is P in is under root three terminal voltage VT line current IL and cosine of theta or the power factor. Now putting in the values from here VT is 480 volt, current is 50 ampere and the power factor is one unity power factor that means power factor is one. So input current is 41.6 kilowatt. And because this it is lossless, therefore the output power will also be 41.6 kilowatt. Now that we know the power, we can calculate the torque by using this formula. So T load is P out over omega M. Now P out we have calculated, we don't know the uh, omega m or the angular rotational frequency or speed so the angular speed can be calculated from the shaft speed so shaft speed is given by this formula 120 multiplied by frequency divided by pole so in our case uh, the frequency is given to be 60 and there are four poles so this is the shaft speed in revolutions per minute but this is the angular speed which is radians per second so we have to convert this into radians per second and for that we multiply it by 2 pi and we divide it by 60. so this is omega m and now we can calculate the uh, torque by putting in this formula so our torque will be 220.69 newton meters uh, which is approximated to be 221 newton meter so this is the first part newton meter we have calculated now we have to calculate in uh, pound feet now remember that pound feet is used in america so this is an useful information let's calculate that the formula for power in in terms of pound feet is power is equal to the torque multiplied by speed in revolutions per minute divided by 7.04 so from here p can be calculated to be 0 7.07 p out divided by the speed in revolutions per minute keep in mind this we had calculated in revolutions per second or radians per second 
So 707 P out 41.6 and speed is 18 revolutions per minute. So the answer will be 162.7 pound feet or, or equal to 163, approximately 163 pound feet. So this is part A. Now part B, what must be done to change the power factor to 08 leading? Explain your answer using the phasor diagram. So let's look at the phasor diagram. This is looks slightly complicated, but I have colored it so you can have a fairly good idea. Now we are here. Power factor one. That means the terminal voltage V phi and the current R in phase. But let's first of all understand this diagram. When the current is lagging. This is the uh, EA or the induced voltage or the back EMF in case of a motor. But as we keep on increasing or moving EA to the, to the right hand side, remember this height is constant due to the power. So we can only slide this left or right. So as we slide it to right, the current moves up. Initially, current was here. Now, as we slide, we slide it to this point, the current moved here. If you slide it further, the current will move up. And that is what we want. We want a positive or 0 0.8 leading power factor. So, we want uh, our current to be in this range. Therefore, we have to increase the value of E. So keep in mind, so as we increase the value of E, we can move the current to the leading position. Okay. To change the motor's power factor to 0 0.8 leading, that is to make an angle between V phi and I phi, that is theta is equal to 37.87. So this angle, uh, we want to make 37.87. EA must be increased. So we saw from here that from here we have to keep on increasing EA. The, the length of EA is increasing. Okay, now how do we increase EA? Now this is the formula for EA. EA is equal to some constant K multiplied by the uh, phasor, uh, 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 flux, sorry, flux phi and multiplied by the speed. Now, in this case, the speed is assumed to be constant. So, flux, increasing flux will increase EA. Now, flux is dependent on the field current. So, flux is proportional to the field current. That means if we increase the field current, then we can increase EA. So, EA can be increased by increasing the field current. And our answer then would be, so by increasing the field current, we can achieve 0 0.8 leading power factor as it has been shown here. So this is part B. Now part C is what will be the magnitude of the line current if the power factor is adjusted to 0 0.8 leading. So it's simple. We use this formula again. We have to calculate current now. So from this formula, I L is P divided by under root 3 V F. So P we had calculated. V T is given. The only change here is the power factor. Power factor for this case is now 0 0.8. 0 0.8 leading. And so I L will be 62.5 ampere. Now when uh, during the unity power factor it was 50 ampere given in the question. Now the current has increased to 62.5 ampere. So I hope you have been able to follow this question. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.